John Dean is the CEO of Central Pacific Bank. So Central Pacific Bank was having a fair amount of trouble during the financial crisis. Some people or some you know, news outlets were wondering if Central Pacific Bank could make it out of the financial crisis. They, there were some loans that were issued in California that didn't do well and so it was putting the whole entire bank in jeopardy. And John Dean was made the CEO at that time. And his role really was to help turn the company around. And amazingly, he was able to do that. And, and, and him and his team and his staff and, uh, were able to help Central Pacific Bank not only get out of financial trouble, but they are also doing well. They're, in, they're profitable. We've all had struggles and challenges. And, and I'm sure you've we've always wanted to try and work our way out of them and and John has been through the fire and back and I was hoping that we would be able to learn some lessons from from John and, and see what kind of advice that he might have to offer. Um, from a business point of view uh, the challenge in Hawaii uh, well-run uh, great organizations and it has to do with what we call the yield curve and the yield curve is the market rates for certain instruments at certain maturities. But, but rates, both short-term rates and long-term rates, continue to decline. So the cost of funds can't get any lower. The revenue sources are declining, both on the loan side and on investment security side. So that puts a huge squeeze from an earnings point of view, margin squeeze on financial institutions. I think in addition uh, for ourselves is that uh, we're an organization that came pretty close to the precipice. Uh, we've been success, very successful in uh, recapitalizing the bank, $325 million. We did a rights offering, raised more money, and we've now had eight quarters of profitability. Uh, we release earnings sh shortly, hopefully that will continue. So I think that the team, the employees at the institution have done any, everything right, more, so wonderful job. Um, but we're still not at the performance level we want to be. And that's typical for any turnaround institution. And so our challenge over the near term is how do we do better from an efficiency ratio point of view. So from a capital point of view, we have a fortress balance sheet. We're probably one of the best capitalized banks in the country. But in terms of opportunity, that's the way we look at it, uh, there's more work to be done and running a, a, a more efficient uh, organization. Um, if I was to give someone advice, uh, someone younger, uh, starting a career, but already in a career, in terms of advice to their future uh, success, very simply, it would be uh, follow your passion. And, uh, and I don't care if it's in business or in government service, if it's in the nonprofit, follow your passion. And ultimately you look back on life and I think you judge yourself. We all do that. I can say that as I get older. And to the extent that I followed my passion, um, I did well and I felt good about who I was, who I am today. And typically you do well in a career um, by following that passion. And if the driver is I want to make a lot of money and so I don't want to follow my passion, I think you're asking for trouble. If it's I think I need to do this because my parents say I should, um, but my heart's not in it, it's, it's hard to be, for me, to see someone as successful. Success in parts, excitement, passion. How often do you uh, meet somebody and they're so passionate about what they're doing, that you immediately want to be part somehow of that. So that would be briefly um, my thought, um, the advice I would give to someone in the past.